Hey, 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 everybody. Today I want to talk to you guys about how to grow your email list organically. I think it's a really important conversation to have because the growth of our business is directly related to the growth of our email list. So stick around. You're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. <laughs> Welcome to Marketing Tips with Melissa Podcast. And now, your host, Melissa Jakubovic. All right, today we're talking about growing your email list organically. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because it's always important to grow our email list. It's part of that growth, that overall growth. It really is connected to your email list growth. And sometimes we think, well, we need to run ads. We have to do all these things to get people on our email list. And really, we don't. There is an organic way to do it. Yes, of course, it involves some sort of work. You will have to create something, but it's a strategy that should be a main component to your overall marketing strategy. So growing your email list is such an important part of your business and I want you to think of it as a container. Your list is a container of leads, people who are potential clients for you and you own those leads as far as their means in which you can connect with them, their email address. You own those instead of, for example, in social media where you have to have an account, you could get shut down, you could get into Facebook jail, they could unfriend you, you know, Facebook could go down, Instagram can go down, it's happened before. And so it's actually more valuable to have that container of people that you can connect with a snap of a finger, then people really realize. So to grow your list organically, you need to have a freebie. It is also sometimes known as an ethical bribe. Sometimes it is referred to as a lead magnet, but basically it is a download of some sort. It is a digital download that people can get access to very quickly by just clicking here, there, and everywhere, and boom, it's in their email box. So these lead magnets can be something like a checklist, for example, or possibly a meditation recording, or it could be a little workbook. But it should be something that your target audience, your dream clients would really want, and more importantly than that, they really need. So it should be high quality, it should be high value, it should deliver a result, and the result that it should deliver needs to be extremely specific, only one problem that it solves that your target market really needs help on. So once your freebie is created, then you need to create what's known as a two-step funnel. This is an opt-in funnel where there's one page, where people go to download this freebie, they put in their name and email, and there is a second page known as the thank you page where you will thank them for taking those next steps, for downloading your freebie, and then you tell them what those next steps are. What do you want them to do next? Remember, this is your customer on a customer journey. And when they download that freebie, they are at the very, very beginning. If you remember in a previous episode, couple of months ago, I was talking about a long hallway where at the front end of the hallway are some double doors and this is where you will invite all of these strangers to come into your hallway. The doors are open, let's go, come into the hallway and these are all of your prospects that are entering your corner of the internet, your world in social media land. And their customer journey is them walking down this hallway towards you getting more information, downloading more things, maybe purchasing some courses or some trainings, attending some of your events, maybe engaging in your Facebook group. And every time they take an action, it's like they're on a board game and they've taken one step further down the hallway. Do you struggle with posting content on social media? Is it difficult to show up consistently? Or maybe you're overwhelmed by what to post where? That's why I created my Complete Content Strategy Toolkit, a comprehensive digital toolkit to efficiently and consistently create meaningful content that converts. My toolkit is packed with over $3,000 worth of tools, and the best part? I'm offering it all for the price of one dinner. Go check it out now at AbundantStrategy.com. Now on the other end of the hallway is another set of double doors, and this is the end of the hallway. And as you grow your business, as you scale, you are building out that hallway to make that hallway longer and longer. 
So we are talking about the first set of double doors here with this freebie. You want to open the doors and say, hey guys, come walk down my hallway. And if everybody has a hallway and all the doors are open and everyone's yelling the same thing, where are all these people going to go? They're going to go down your hallway when you can say, hey, I have this free checklist that's going to solve the problem that you have. All you have to do is give me your email address and you are welcome to come in to my hallway and get this information. So think of it that way. Your freebie needs to be filled of enough value and quality that You can hang it out those double doors of your hallway and wave it in the air and people are going to come running for it. So you don't want to give away crap or fluff because the truth is if they download it and they don't like it and it doesn't help them, they're going to unsubscribe from your email list. They're going to turn around. They're going to walk out those double doors. The goal is to keep them walking forward towards those second set of double doors and to keep building that relationship as they move down the hallway. I hope that metaphor helps explain things a little bit. So once your freebie's created, then you create this two-step funnel. On your website, you can have a place where they can download this freebie, or you just have like a landing page, a one-step page, where they download this thing. Hey, you want this thing because of this, this, this? Put in your name and email, and I'll send it right over to you. Then you need another page that says, thank you so much for downloading this, and here are the next steps. Now, with my analogy of the hallway, we are literally taking those next steps. What are those next steps? Do you want them to join your Facebook group? Do you want them to get on a call with you? Do you want them to register for your next workshop? What are those next steps? Let them know and be very clear about it. And then after it's all set up, you take that link to your freebie funnel, to that page where they put their name and email in, and you share it. You share it in groups. And you know the way you can share it in groups is you go into groups where your target market's hanging out, your dream clients hang out, and you're going to create a one-sentence blurb about your freebie and then just say, hey, who wants it? And now, of course, make sure that you're doing this in groups that allow that. But if you're hanging out in groups that allow that, then go in and do that. And then when people comment, you should be sure to respond to them and then send them to the link to that freebie funnel. Now, if you don't get a lot of engagement at first, you don't get a lot of clicks, you don't get a lot of people that say, oh, I want that, don't worry. That is literally what happens to everybody. That is what marketing is. It is a trial and error. So just try and try again. I think before my first freebie ever converted in a group, I was posting maybe 14 times. So if I had stopped at number 10, I would never get anywhere. But now that I've made it to number 14, I get it. I know how to do it and it's working for me and it's working for me consistently. That's because I tried and I didn't try once and I didn't try 10 times. I tried 14 times. And if it didn't work in number 14, I can guarantee you there would be a 15th try and beyond. So just keep trying. This is entrepreneurship and you've got to feel out the market and you can only feel out the market when you test things. So try things out, see what didn't work, test it out a different way. So Post in groups, post in different groups. This is another way to test it out. If that didn't work, well, go to a different group and see if it worked there. Try writing blurbs just a little bit differently. Post them in groups. If they don't work, post it again in the same group, but change it up a little bit. And of course, post frequently. This is a great way to grow your email list. And once you start growing it, then be sure to start sending those regular emails that are going to nurture your subscribers along their sales journey. That's the point of the email. Yes, they'll be in your Facebook group. Yes, they'll attend your workshops. But also, let's say, yes, they're getting my emails. Every time you connect with them, they are taking one step further down the hallway. So How can you connect with them? How can you get them to take more steps further down their customer journey? And this email nurturing, sending regular emails is a great way to do it. I'd love to hear what you think about this process. I'd love to hear about the freebies that you have created, the groups that you're posting in, and how this strategy is working for you. So if you haven't used it yet, go hop in right now, try it out, and come back and let me know how it worked out for you. Hope this helps, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast at www.marketingtipswithmelissa.com. Hey, coaches and healers, it's time to feel supported in your business. Head on over to our free community to get access to my best resources for free. I'm talking marketing tips, business strategy, feedback, and so much more. Join now at magneticmarketingmastermind.com. See you there.